What's up guys? Today I want to show you how to set up a Feathers, um, the Hello World application using Postgres as the database. Because I was getting some errors when doing it and I know it could be kind of tricky to set up. So I'm going to walk you through the process. The first thing is to make sure you have Terminal uh, open and just make a folder or create a fo uh, go into a folder you want to. So I'm just going to create my app and go into there, my app. And then go ahead and do feathers generate and go ahead and create your um, applications. I'm just going to mine my app. No description. That's fine. That's fine. And give it a Postgres SQL database local. And I'm going to let that run and install everything and all that stuff. So you need to make sure you have Postgres installed. If you don't, go ahead and install that. To install that, you're just going to have to just do. Uh, I used Homebrew. If you don't know what Homebrew is, I'll leave a link in the description below. It makes things installing things super easy. So you're going to want to use that to install um, Postgres. And then once you have Postgres um, installed, you can start it. You can start it using this command. And this is for Mac computers, I believe. Um, PG control and then slash D and then this path and then this is just a logging debug and then this will actually start a Postgres. So I have mine started so I'm not gonna run this. Um, and once you have it started if you just type in psql oops, if you type psql in the command line and hit enter it'll actually take you to a prompt kinda like this. Um, if you get there your, P, uh, your Postgres SQL is started and uh, everything is configured correctly. You do slash uh, Q, that'll take you out um, and back to the command line. So I'm just gonna make sure. All right, so normally once um, feathers generate is done, you can just do npm start and it'll run, right? And it'll work just fine. But here's what happens. We get an unhandled rejection, the synchronized connection database, my app doesn't exist. Um, so we have to actually create this. And so if you do psql, um, this will take you to the command line for uh, PostgreSQL. And what we can do is actually create a database. And if we go back to our error, we notice our error shows we do not have a database called my app. So we just need to create that database called my app and it should work. So we're gonna create database my app with owner and this is important make sure you set postgres as the owner so we created our database so i just created the database called it my app and then make sure you uh, set the owner as postgres because that's the user that they use now i'm going to exit out of the prompt come back over here and just do npm start all right, and now our application starts up. If I go to localhost 3030, it's looking all nice and handy, like it should. And that's how you set up Feathers to use Postgres in the back end. It's super easy. You just start up Postgres, you start up Feathers, and then you create this database um, table that they need. And that's all. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped.